yeah, I'm not real sure why I'm filming this. And if it sounds like I'm yelling, I am. Because we went from having, supposed to have an hour worth of light rain. Looked on the map. <coughs> we got that. Heck, it didn't last 30, 40 minutes. The clouds were all breaking up in the on the on the weather app. We started to get uh, about an hour or so went by, and I was looking. I was like, "Hang on." It looks like they said it's supposed to. They get back on the weather app, and it is just a big flipping. Oh, on the radar, just covered like it came out of nowhere, like it was not on there a little bit ago. And now we are stuck. I'm stuck in this blind. Bill's way over yonder, and it is pouring down rain. And I'm sure I'm going to start to get wet because this blind. Is not the bestest. On it. That probably concludes my turkey hunt in Indiana. Just saying. This bites. Oh well. We'll hunt peace out. Still better than being at work. Oh Satan, oh Satan. Please leave me alone, I'm going to see Jesus in my heavenly home. I'm walking this highway, dark though it may be, far in the distance, I see eternity. Old Troy hit the proverbial nail on the head there, talking about any time in the woods, in the turkey woods, is better than a day at the office. And to his point, that's exactly what we're looking to do this week. I'm trying to pack up and hurry. I'm already a little bit behind, but I'm meet, meeting up with Troy here in about a half an hour, and we're headed out on our last turkey hunt of the year. I'm pretty doggone excited. Uh, I've never hunted turkeys this late in the year. It's June. Tomorrow is June 1st. But uh, I'm trying to finish packing up hunting. And in the meantime, while I'm doing that, we're going back to some uh, watery turkeys, if you will. Some soggy turkeys. Uh, we're going to kick it off with Chad uh, earlier in the year. And then we're going to slide over and hunt with Troy and Eric. So, as you can tell, I'm in a hurry. But here are some awesome hunts. And uh, I'll talk to you all in a little bit. seen a little bit of our footage this morning already but we got in here as we were setting up the decoys one guy went straight across from us we thought yeah pretty good we're, we're setting pretty good so we let it get light a couple more gobbles a couple more gobbles on the roost we saw the hens fly out there was two or three of them and then here come two long birds behind them followed by three more hens so there was five hens total plus the two long beards and they worked themselves all the way from across here in front of us, got to the corner, came up the edge, was working, thought for sure I was going to get an opportunity. Nope, another hen pops out over here for hen number six. She walks across the field, takes all the hens that way, they mess around over there, followed her all the way to the edge. We had a hen work our way into our decoys. We thought we were in game 
unplay that. Nope. Yes, again. Well, now, these birds are all working their way back this way. So hopefully, we can do this. It's now about 8.40. These birds flew down at 6.30ish. So they've been dancing around this field for two hours. And like I said, the closest they've got to us is maybe 70 yards. When you say Jax, maybe 70. Oh, yeah. 70 at the closest. Oh, but yeah. Yeah, and then we, of course, that hand that came in, but hopefully, I mean, they answer every time I yell, they answer. You know, I gobble, they answer. They just got those five hens with them and don't want to budge, so I'm going to put my mask on. They're still working this way. They're taking their sweet time, but I'm going to put my mask on and hopefully we can uh, put one of these dudes on the ground. Freaking poke, dude. <laughs> amazing. These birds flew down at 6.30, 6.20 across the field. And with some hens, they worked this entire field all morning. What is it now? About 9.30? 9, 9.45. 9.45? 10, 10.13. 10, sorry about that. 10.13. So from 6.30 to 10.13, these birds have not left this field. They're with the same five hens um, nothing we could do to get them to budge. Um, the hens would kind of work this way, and then they wouldn't. You know, they'd call to them, yelp, purr, cluck, do do everything. Gobbled a couple times, tried to get them to come out, tried to get the hens to come, or these uh, these birds to break away. They didn't. We watched them breed three different hens in that group, but man, it took a little bit, but we got it done. Patience. That was a heck of a shot. A little less than an inch spur, so a good two-year-old bird. Good stuff. Man, what a morning. It's spitting some rain. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some pictures here and uh, get him up there before we get wet. Spot today, at least spot. I drug him out of bed. 
is an hour and a half drive. It's supposed to be raining. Eric thinks all day. I think till eight or nine. But we're in a ground blind. It is going to be a long, chilly, wet, probably miserable day with not real high expectations. Um, the field is about two foot higher than it was a week ago because I was here just looking. So we're just going to see what happens and hope for the best. And maybe catch a nap. There's a bird just to the right of him. I just seen its head. And it's another white head. Take him. Is that good? You think he's good? You think I can shoot that far? Well, hell yes. Put your gun up there and shoot him. We would see a turkey, and we watched him for probably, probably 15, 20 minutes up on that hill. We had a hen come through right here low in this uh, this field that's really tall. I mean, it's probably two and a half feet tall, and um, I mean, the whole time we're just talking about Mr. Trump and the virus and just the craziness that's going on in this world, and we've seen that uh, hen come by, and the next thing you know, three, well, two long beards and a jake comes down that hill um, across the field there, and they sat up there forever, finally committed. So, uh, the other two skirted off to the right there, and we was worried he was going to do the same. They never committed to the decoys. And sure enough, uh, probably about a 35, 40 yard shot, we took him. And he's, uh, he's down right there in the field. Well, what life, baby, in the rain. I know. <laughs> Alright, it was ridiculous in here so we I just looked at the footage and I was pretty sure it went black on me and I didn't know what happened so Eric was over here and the birds were coming in right there and when he shot this blind went whoop, <laughs> and completely blacked out, the camera. blacked out the camera I'm filming through the screen he shoots and this thing goes whoop. <laughs> I don't know from the percussion or if you had, well, if you'd had your gun on it, we'd have holes, holes in it. In it. That's what I was for. It just popped up. Maybe from the percussion. I don't know. Sorry, folks, but that is, it is what it is. Come on, turkey. Get him. Get him. Hey, scoot back about. Gee, look at them spurs. There you go. You kidding me, man. I see that tail feather. Oh, 
he's gonna be all wet and nasty. That's pretty bird, though. Yeah, he is. What about that beard? That little beard on him. That little beard on him, huh? Little beard, heck. Is that a double? He got a double beard. No, he doesn't. He does. Are you kidding me? Nope. Maybe. Can't tell, but. Or is it just. Oh, you could tell right from here. It's a. Yeah, I think he might be a double beard. Unbelievable. <laughs> He's a double beard. I'm never taking you turkey hunting again. <laughs> Listen, what time is it? 8.30? Oh no, I left my watch at home this morning. We got up so early. We got to like, I got up at quarter till four this morning. Yeah. Got to your house about 10 after. Yeah, yeah. You know, Troy had to, you know, do his daily, you know, morning duties before we left, so. <laughs> and it rained all the way down here. Um, Miserable. We didn't expect to see no birds. No, no. We, I just say, we was talking about Mr. Trump. And, well, this mm -hmm. is Eric's lease, and uh, he hadn't been here all year. So it's about an hour and 20 minutes from the house. And we heard some gobble way off this morning. And uh, man, it just rained and rained and rained. And I'll be daggone, I finally see a hen out here. She's crossing the field. And uh, we thought, well, surely there's a gobbler gotta behind be, her. Gotta be a gobbler. And, uh, but nothing, we did. And then, I don't know, 20 minutes after she come through, we heard a gobble over here and we looked, finally found him. Yeah, Two was. gobblers, big gobblers, and then uh, a Jake. And they was hanging out with that hen, and man, I just, I, I, I didn't talk a lot, but I just wanted to keep their attention. And some reason, somehow, they came back out in this field, and he kept looking at these decoys from up there. And uh, man, oh man, we could see he had a monster beard on him. Oh, yeah. This dude has a, a double, double beard. a huge double. Look at that double. I mean, that's a... Dude, that's a nine or ten inch double beard right there. That's <laughs> that could be twelve inches. That could be a twelve inch beard. It's a good one. It's unbelievable. You're the luckiest dude I know. This turkey hunt's easy, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> what a bird. Well, there you have it, guys. We'll hunt life. We are down here in southern Ohio-ish. First weekend. First week, yeah, yeah, first week. And uh, we got her done. Got her done. <laughs> <laughs> I know there's another one over there. I mean, we could maybe head up this way. Call one in. I don't even know, Call one man. In too, Troy. I don't know how much luckier we're going to get today, but uh, hey, guys, stay tuned. Well, you're watching uh, uh, The Will Hunt Life, and uh, Eric's got a bird to get tagged in and another taxidermy bill to take care of. <laughs> <laughs> Later. And that should do it. How much gear does a guy need to go turkey hunting? As much as it takes, I guess. But I am loaded up, run behind, going to meet Troy. We're heading to Michigan to turkey hunt. In the meantime, hope you all enjoyed this latest episode of the Spring Strut Series. We'll be back very soon with a couple more kills, and hopefully things turn out in Michigan, and we'll have one extra for you. So until the next time, go out, live the will hunt life, enjoy your time outdoors, and uh, just enjoy life in general with everything crazy going on. Live your best life, y'all.